So, we're here to buy the Mustang. Hopefully. Just now pulling up, hopefully, of course. We've been looking at this for a day or two now, I think. Look at it. It's been like oh, three hours. Yeah, look at the car, man. Put it on the car. Just get it on that beauty, please. Oh my God, pulling up. That thing is clean, dude. It's like the same wheels that you got. Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, I sent him a picture. I mean, the car was bone stock when I got it. I mean, it was a third. And I put quite a bit of money into it. Everything on it's pretty much brand new. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. Same wheel as Blake. They're so nice. Nice five zero. Same wheels as Blake. Alright, so we just picked up this 90, is it 94? 95. It's 95 GT, it's got fresh paint on it, Lexus Pearl or something like that. Is that fifth? That's fifth. Um, we just picked this bad unit up, it looks beautiful, it's got some SVE wheels on it. It runs, it runs good. I mean that Porsche was a 40 roll. The reason I'm driving it right now and Bodie's not is because um, Bodie does not necessarily know how to drive stick well enough to hit the main roads of Jacksonville. Yeah. But once we get it back over towards his house, I'll be teaching him how to drive it. So he can, uh, he can, he can rip it. He, but he said he had to have a standard, so, which I respect. Yeah, man. There ain't no room, especially in these older Mustangs, the automatics are just not it. Turds, man. Not it. Turds. On the outside, it's clean. On the interior, the interior and the engine bay needs some work. I mean, yeah, thing. it's all mismatched. Like, you can tell the back seats, everything. Like, you see the steering wheels, like the peanut butter tan. Yeah. Drives really smooth though. I know I can tell just from riding on it. Tame beast, man. Yeah. It needs boost already. <laughs> what are we thinking? We're gonna we're gonna put a Fortec on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like a lot of your issues with this car are gonna be like, for example, the radio's not bolted down. Yeah, it's it's, it's just chilling a little bit. So like, but that's that's insignificant. We can fix that. Oh, for once sure. we get it to my house. Cosmetic things, I'm not. Like, that's not my biggest worries, to be honest. It's more, as long as things are mechanically sound, it feels tight, too. It's better for me than cosmetics. It's slow. With my boy Bodie. First start from Bodie JP in the manual. KMJ Motorsports. There'll be a link in the description. Check them out. Of course. Saw a lot of SN95 stuff, a lot of new Edge stuff. We still have anything for everything. If you need an alternator, though, I'll tell you what. Get you a KMJ alternator, man. So you're trying to sell the KMJ brand over there? 
got to, man. I'm part of the family, man. First thing we did, first thing we did was stick on a little, a little indication. All right, guys. So project, I think what the name of the project is going to be is Blanca, but who knows? Project Blanca. Got the car. It's looking good. Got it all cleaned up. And um, Bodie's been driving it for a couple days. Uh, took a couple trips. Uh, we a couple hours away from my house. We got our first mod, official mod that we're doing today. The car's clean on the outside, but the interior is it's it's lacking. So the first thing that uh, Bodie wanted to spend some money on is these bad units right here. Here's some O3 Cobra seats, and uh, I think they will look really good in that gray interior. Now, um, they're a little dirty. Um, they probably have a slight amount of asbestos on them, but you know, it's fine. Clean them up nice, and I think they'll look really good in s 95s gray interior. He also has some parts ordered from LMR. Even after we get the seats on, we have a lot of mods to do that car, so. This is the part you should get close to. Blanca, man. How's your Blanca? Certified river right here. Yes, sir. Let's get these seats done. Go get some food. All right. Sit on it. We've got mail! Are you tracking? I thought the video was going to be concluded with the Terminator seat install, but it turns out the mailman came in a little bit early. We've got some goodies in this box. Me and Bodie are going to go in the box for you, show you live. We're going to slap them in the car. I have that interior looking A1. So, professional. We got in there right now that is a hundred times tenfold that's better than what i had in my terminator all right guys so what we have here is the fr500 steering wheel we're not sponsored by lmr lmr give me a call i could really use one of these with my terminator um we got the steering wheel he has like a weird tan one and the first thing i noticed not only is a tan you know got age on it but it's also bent which car that beautiful does not deserve a steering wheel that disgusting we also got some dye which is meant for the column area which is also tan We got over there is we got a straight piped 302. Project Blanca is in full effect, boys and girls. Got some nice seats in there. Gotta have a nice steering wheel in there. <laughs> Quick update before he gets over here. If you guys want to catch me at Mustang Week, I'll be there. Be there with Andrew, Mustang Lifestyle. Gonna be whipping around, old lightning swap, S197. So uh, you might see me out there. Come say hello. Um, I'd love to meet whoever and feel validated. That's good, buddy. I got neighbors, buddy. Some nice Terminator seats in there. As y'all can see, I'm sure you've already seen before, but like this this tan steering wheel that's like bent. It's hard to tell on camera, but like it like goes down that way. Yeah. We actually don't have an airbag. I forgot about that. I guess we can try dying that one. No, I'm just, oh, let me get a little shot of these. New to old the floor thing. mats too. It's a Cobra now. Yeah, it's a Fobra. It's a, it's a Fobra. I'll bring it back to Fobra vibes, man. Dude, Cobras and Fobras. That's what we got around here. That's what we got. All right, so I have a T50 on there. And it's already loose. I gotta have to like put any pressure on it. It's probably coming in then, so that's a good thing, I guess. Bolt is out. Alright. So we just give it a good old tug and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's standard procedure right there, I think. Alright, we got some dye here. 
Nice. All right. Nice and black. You got black. I've never dyed anything before, so pardon me if it doesn't turn out. I thought you were the professional. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. You said what? You're poor, man. Yeah. Of course.